Well, here we are, heading to the cabin again. Uh, I was uptown, back in civilization, for four or five days uh, for the Christmas break. Spent it with family up there, had a grand time, family and friends. And now I'm on the way back down to the cabin, and I'm expecting some significant snowfall. One of the challenges to living in the north is that you're going to have snow, and you're going to have a lot of it. And if you don't keep on top of it, then the challenge becomes even more real. So I don't know what to face, uh, but I think I might have the tool to take care of it. So let's check it out here. Now see this guy here, he got the gear. He got the gear. That's not a cheap outfit, but it's a huge Kubota tractor. And just look what it does, it's just amazing. But uh, I don't have that. Not yet, anyway. So what happens is uh, there's two or three guys that keep the road open in so far. And uh, then we got to fend for ourselves, and that's it. I mean, you're on your own down here. Uh, there's no, there's no plowed contracts or anything like that. So okay, I can see some uh, pretty good snow on my driveway, and it's been there for four or five days. So I'd say it's gone pretty tight there now. So. Let's get out and get in there and I'll show you my brand new toy. Actually, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. Okay, it's not too bad in the center of the driveway here, but over here you're probably looking at about 16 or 18 inches. All the way along here is going to be 16 inches or so. And it's kind of packed a bit hard with all the wind we had. We had winds that were 80 kilometers or 50 miles an hour. So it's, it is going to be a challenge. And the thing about snow clearing is you just can't let it sit. You got to take care of it because it ain't going away. Up here in the north, we have about 14 feet of snow every winter. Can you imagine that? 14 feet. That's a lot. So we got to get rid of it. And you can't just shovel it right there. There's a, there's a technique behind it. I'm going to show you guys a couple of those things today. Little tips. comes Willow. This is her game. Weirdo. A winter wonderland, no doubt. Yeah, so it's about minus 18 degrees Celsius or so, which is cold. But uh, not too bad for just over here. I'll take that. Turn on the power to my cabin. This generated by solar and wind. Green light means go. Now, you guys have seen me over the years clearing snow down here in every which way possible. For the first few years we come in here, we never even plowed our roads at all. And then we kind of started it and got used to it. And it's really convenient for bringing materials back and forth, you know, and you don't have to take out your snowmobile. You don't have to cart uh, gear across snow or haul in sleighs. You simply drive to your door and you leave and you come back. Or if you have people drive by, to visit you know you get uh, it works for them as well but over the years you've seen me use shovels you've seen me use truck plows two different truck plows in fact and uh, I went through an era where I was using a monster snowblower which was a four foot snowblower and that one worked just well but I just recently picked up something that I think is going to be the kingpin of all down here Just take a look at this monstrosity, if ever there was one. 
Wow, I got myself a brand new Honda Foreman 4x4 520cc. Brand spanker. Just bought her up, picked her up last week. And I got myself one of these major snow blowers. It's made by Quadrax. It's 54 inches wide, which is four and a half feet, of course. It's a Series 2, and it was made in 2011. So it's uh, it's 10 years old, which is not that uh, bad, really, for these types of things. And it's called a Snow Ogre, you know? And uh, I was looking for information on this machine. And it's all electric, eh? It's electric start. The chute is electric, goes back and forth that way, up and down. So it's a, kind of a fancy rig, you know? And it's got uh, real good steel into it. I've told us it's the uh, it's a real good steel model and not as uh, thin of metal as what's in the newer ones. So I'm excited about that. And I kept my solar panel uh, hooked up to my battery while I was gone. That's recommended. Just to make sure in the cold temperatures that your uh, battery is topped up and have best performance for when you go to start it. It's got a Leafen 15 horsepower motor. And uh, I know that these motors are very popular on these snowblowers. But I need your guys' help. Because a lot more of you guys know a ton more about this snowblower than I do. Um, it's extremely similar. Almost exact to what they call the Burkamac uh, snowblowers. And actually I ordered a couple of parts for these the other day. And the same parts look interchangeable with the Burkamac. So I'm trying to get some good information. I can't find an owner's manual for it. So if there's anybody out there, drop a comment. Let me know about this particular snowblower. All right, enough yakking, let's get it going. Okay, I'll start up my quad first, just to make sure she uh, is gonna run okay. Oh yeah, minus 20, she's good. Turn the key on, I'll turn the choke on. It does have a, a pull cord, but we'll try the electrical start first. Why not, right? So I'm at, this is the actual control box for that snow snow blower. It's pretty neat. Shoot goes up and down, left and right. We got lights here to, for in the nighttime, and this is for your auger engage. So let's give it a whirl. here to this whole parking lot. I cleared it over there. What I'll do later is I'll clear off all the snow off of my bridges and off of my outdoor kitchen. Just let it all drop and then blow all that away too. And now I gotta conquer the road which is long and windy. It usually takes a lot of effort on any other given day but with this rig I think it's gonna be a piece of cake. Just look at it. <laughs> So 
I came out the road with one full cut and now I'm going back in the road with one full cut and that alone gives me space for a vehicle to go in there. Just two passes. Two passes? clean eh when she does the uh, the job is right on down right down to the gravel if you're not careful i tell you she uh she cuts it nice and smooth and makes it nice and wide here right eh? even wide enough for this big butt right here yeah that's it right there Wonderful, I call it. Oh, just look at the pleasure in this, guys. Look, all that snow was there. I literally blew tons with that machine today. And it's as clean as can be. It's almost down to the gravel. Crazy, crazy efficient. Well, guys, you've seen me down here using everything in the world to try and clear snow. And it's a big challenge, you know, here in the north where we get so much snow and we have six months of winter. You've got to plan ahead. Uh, a snow blower works great. It's just that it's hard to get one just like the one I got here. I've used the truck plows. The truck plows are good, don't get me wrong. But you got to start and get that snow back way, way back in the beginning of the winter. And then by the time the winter was over here, the snow was backed up to the point I could hardly even get inside of my door. And you've seen me use that push behind monster snowblower in those videos. And that's good too. It works really well. But the snow this time today was four or five days, 80 kilometers an hour wind. It was hard, hard snow. If you had to push a snowblower today, it would be hard on the back and the shoulders. And I tell you, you would sweat a bucket of sweat. But I just got all this clean. And guess what? I did not sweat one bead of sweat. So needless to say, I am very, very pleased. Now I'm going to go in the cabin, sit back with a cup of hot chocolate, and just chillax. Well guys, now that I'm back at the cabin, I'm going to go winter tent camping again. And this time I'm going to take along the camera and try out that new stove you guys saw me using last time. It's going to be a blast, a good experiment. And until that time, take care of each other, get outside, and enjoy everything outdoors. But we'll see you again next time. Guaranteed. Let's go!